In the previous video, we talked about the three main things to check to either prevent or correct a whistling noise that had to do with the proper gas pressure, using a whistle-free flux line, as well as having no sharp bends or kinks in the line. So there are some cases where those check out, but we're still getting a whistling or line noise coming out of the burner ports and it's obnoxious to sit around and needs to be fixed. So uh, the two things to check into after that is make sure that your burner has an orifice. So an orifice is going to be usually directly connected to the burner. If it's propane, there might be some distance in between. Propane orifices um, double as an air mixer, so they're a little bit different. But a natural gas orifice is basically a solid fitting with a hole drilled through the center. The size of that hole determines how much gas gets to your burner. Without one, for lack of better words, it's just straight piped. So that can lead to whistling or line noise just from the volume of gas that's getting to the burner if it's more than it's rated for. So making sure you have an orifice or adding one can be an easy step to help reduce or eliminate that whistling or line noise you're hearing. In extreme cases, you can also consider what we call a dual flex line kit. So some manufacturers offer this already, uh, otherwise it can always be built. So in a typical setup, you have your key valve, your flex line, and then that's gonna connect to the burner. What you can do is you can actually take that and tee it off in two directions. So you can put a T fitting coming out of the valve and then a T fitting to bring them back together. So in this case, we're using two high capacity whistle-free flex lines. That's gonna break up that flow of gas to break up any line noise that existed. Uh, typically, this is only needed if it's happening from underground. So if you were to kind of take things off and test, that noise would actually be coming out of your gas stub that's coming out of the ground. And that cannot be easily replaced or fixed. So we deal with it on the above ground side in the fire pit by two things, orifice, making sure you have one and it's the right size and or a dual flex line kit to break up that flow of gas.